Hi, it's Liam here from Wowza. I'm just gonna quickly show you a few tips and tricks on how to use your Xbox speaker, how to pair it with Bluetooth and so forth. Uh, so on the iPhone screen here or whatever phone you're using, um, on the iPhone it's settings. So we go into settings, um, there's Bluetooth, and in there you just wanna make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. Once it's turned on, it'll start um, looking for Bluetooth devices. So I'm just gonna turn the Xbox on here. You can see it makes that noise when it turns on. The on button is the button right in the middle of the top there, and it's now lit up. And you'll see on the iPhone screen here, it says uh, Xpop not paired. So this is only the first time that you're gonna to have to do it this way. So we press on that, and that will uh, take a few seconds and it will connect. Now the first time you need to go through that process, every other time you use it after that, as soon as you turn your speaker on, so long as your Bluetooth is on on your phone, it will automatically connect, yeah? So you can see there that now it says connected. So if I just swap over to the music app and put some music on, it will start playing. Now, when you first, turn that down for a little bit, when you first use your X-Pop, or you first turn it on each time, it doesn't come on at full volume on the X-Pop, it comes on about halfway. So you actually have a plus button on this side and a minus button on this side. And what those buttons do is either allow you to change the volume or the, the track that's playing. I'm just gonna restart that song there. So um, what I'm gonna do is hold down the plus button, and that, you'll hear it made a beeping noise. So that means the speaker is up at full volume, and then you use the phone to control it. So you turn the phone. So now the phone's at full volume as well. So that's maximum volume. Once you have it paired, you can either use the control on the phone, or you can use the control on the speaker. So when you press that plus or minus button and release, it'll change the track. When you press and hold it down, it'll change the volume. The other buttons you have on the top here, one of them uh, has a battery symbol on it. You press that, battery is about half. and it tells you how much battery you have left. You also have an icon in the top corner of the phone here which shows you how much battery is left there as well. And the other button you have there is a microphone button, um, and that enables you to uh, make phone calls as well. So it has a microphone in there for hands-free calls. If someone rings you, you just press that button and you can answer the call and talk to them directly into the microphone. You have about a two meter range on the microphone there as well. And the battery button, if you press and hold that down, that's going to pair the phone for you like I showed you at the start. Um, just a couple of other quick things. You have the USB charging cable there which comes in the bottom of the, the packaging. So this is what it looks like uh, in the packaging when you get it. You have your carabiner here on the top. Don't throw that away because that actually goes on the back of the speaker to allow you to attach it to your backpack or your bag or whatever else you're, you're using. Um, and the cable's in the bottom there. So the cable just plugs. It's a micro USB cable. There's a tiny little uh, thing in the back here. You plug that in there like so. Oh, wrong way around, there we go. <laughs> plug it in the back there like so. Um, and then that comes plugged straight into an adapter for the wall um, and you can recharge it. You can also charge it on your computer or you can get one of our amazingly sleek and stylish power banks uh, and you can plug it in there to charge as well. It's fantastic so you can charge it when you're traveling or camping or caravanning or anything like that. So hopefully that answers all your questions on how to use your Xpop. If you do have any questions that we haven't answered today, um, just write us a note or, or tweet us or Facebook and we'll, uh, we'll get back to you. Thank you. Wowza!